Hello, Jason N3YUG here. Today I'm going to give you a walkthrough on doing some customization of your QRZ profile page. We're going to look at adding some things like email address, QSL card routes, doing a biography, and even adding some photos to your page to spice it up. So let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is, of course, go to QRZ.com. Type that into your address line and hit enter. That'll take you to the QRZ main page or QRZ. You get a lot of stuff on here, articles, buy, sell, trade, sunspot, information. On the top bar, you have a lot of different options, forums. But the first thing we'll need to do is make sure you're registered. If you're not registered, type in your call sign, create a password, and that'll give you your login information. Once you have that done, we'll go up to login. You'll type in your call sign and then you'll type in your password information to get into your account. And it'll take a second here and it'll come back up back to the main page. Now you can see you're logged in. It'll show your call sign account, your page, edit your page, messages and your logbook. And of course, log out if you choose to log out. All right, next we'll go to your page by going to your call sign page. And here you'll see you have biography, details, logbook, web contacts, and awards. Click on each one. Biography has nothing. Details shows details about you, and you can have a map showing where you're located. If you click biography, you'll see the profile picture is not there. There's not much information other than your name and address. These awards and stuff here won't show up on your page if you're just setting it up. All right, now let's look at the edit options you have for your page. Click edit your call sign. And here you'll see you have call sign data, biography, pictures, coordinates, CSS styles is a little bit more in depth on editing and a few other things there. So the first thing we're going to click on is call sign data. And you have some information on this page, even if you see your address from them. But what we're really looking at is scrolling down to you see public email. In there, you're going to type in your email address that you choose to put out to everybody. It doesn't have to be your main email address. You can create a Gmail or an ARRL.net email address and have that forwarded to your home address. Next, we're going to go put in a QSL information, how people should QSL with you. And down below here you have where you can turn on and off, whether you use eQSL, Logbook of the World, or mail QSLs. All right, so the next thing we'll do is we'll go take a look and see what that did to your page. So I have another tab open, I'll refresh. And now you can see there's QSL information listed and an email address where people can contact. All right, the next thing we're going to do before we do our bios, we're going to add some pictures. That way we have some photos to pull from when we do our biography. So click on pictures. And the way you add pictures, you scroll down to where it says choose file. Click that. You have pictures on your computer. Go to those. Click on it. Then click open. It'll show the file name. Hit upload and it'll add that picture to your folder of photos on the server. Next thing you're going to want to do is a primary image. It'll show up at the top right hand corner of the page when you're in QRZ right here. So we'll add that next and the way you do that is you go and find the picture you want to be that profile picture. Click on it. When it comes up there's a little button that says set as primary. Click that. Now you'll see there's a red box around that showing that that's your primary image. You'll see it down below. Click done and that'll save it. So let's go back and see. We'll refresh. And you can see in the top right corner that picture is now shown. All right, now we're ready to do the biography. So click on biography. And I'm going to spread this out a little bit so we can see the page a little bit better. The width. Okay, you have several rows of buttons up here with a lot of different stuff. The main things that you're going to want to use are things like add image. 
And you also have your text offsets down below that over here, left, center, right. And you also have add video where you can add YouTube clips, bold, italics, underline, your font, different font types in there, the size of your font. And we also have color of the font. You can select the color. You also might want to add links to outside web pages and there's a button for that right over here. You can click the link. And one other thing, and it works a little bit strange is the background color, but we'll get into that a little bit later. So now let's go ahead and get started on building your biography. First thing we're going to do is click inside the window where you're going to build your biography. So we'll start out here and let's go ahead and add an image to start with. Image icon. You have the option of doing a URL so you can pull it directly from online or you can go where we put the pictures before is on the server, browse server. So this gives you your window where you can see all the photos you've uploaded. So let's go ahead and select one out of your photos. Uh, we'll go ahead and pick an old picture of my station here. We'll pick this one. Double click on that. The picture won't show up looking like it's Full, but it is. You have your width and your height. I'm going to change this, make this a little bit bigger. And you have the option to do a border or alignment to the left, right, or not set means it's in center. I'm going to go ahead and put a border of about five pixels, and it's just a black border around the photo you can see there. I click OK, and it adds the photo with the black border centered on your page. So the next thing, let's go ahead and add some text to your photo. You can add above or you can add below. I'm going to add below here. And I'm going to go down just one more line. And I'm going to center this to the left. So it always centers to the left of the page. In this biography, you can make this whatever you want. Uh, you can make it about your station. You can make it about yourself in the hobby. Things you enjoy in it. Um, pretty much anything. Uh, I like giving people a little bit of an idea about myself and what I enjoy in the hobby. A lot of times this can spark off a good conversation when somebody sees something on your page that they're also interested in. You'll start talking about that, discussing that, and it'll make your contacts, your CUSOs, just a lot nicer, pleasant, and you know it's not high goodbye type things. So Whatever you put in here, it's completely up to you, as I said, but it's nice to have some information on things that you enjoy, even if it's other hobbies. All right, now that we got that finished, let's go ahead up here and save. It'll kick us out, so we'll go back into biography. We'll reset the page here so we can see everything a little bit better. And let's go take a look and see what it looks like. So we'll refresh our original page, and now you can see what it looks like on your page. One thing I don't like is the text font. So I'm going to go back here. I'm going to highlight the text. Then I'm going to go up to the font box. I'm going to go find Times New Roman. Click that. Get out of the highlight. And you can change the sizes here. Change to 12. Oh, to make any effect, we got to highlight it. And then change the size. So let's see. 12. That uh, makes it a little bit too small. Let's go with 16. That looks good. So we'll save again. And we'll go back to our page. All right, there we go. So now we'll go back into biography and continue to edit. All right, we'll get our page back to where we need it to do our editing. Scroll down. And we'll click on the next spot that we're going to add some. So you can add multitudes of things here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and add some more photos. All right, we'll open up the photo server and we'll scroll down through. Let's find a new picture. Let's put one of the Morse code keys up there. I'm going to resize this down to 500 so it's a smaller one. Again, I'm going to put a 5 width of border around it. And I'm going to put one right beside it by not clicking any place on the page. And I'll find another Morse code key. And we'll add this one. Double click. Size it down to about the same as the other one. 
put a border around it again of five pixels in black. So now we got two pictures side by side. And if you want pictures to be side by side like this touching, the one thing is don't click and move your cursor inside your working window. Just go ahead and add the next picture right away and that'll put it right up against it. So here I'm adding a third. I'll resize that down, order again, and we'll click OK. So now we got three Morse code key photos all lined up next to each other. It's pretty neat. And we'll go under that and we'll add a little bit about why I added those photos to this. All right, now that we got that in, we'll go ahead and go down two lines, separate things a little bit. Next thing we can add is a horizontal line break in the page to separate content or different sections of the page. And to do that, we'll go up here and hit the insert horizontal line button, which is right here. And you can see that adds a horizontal line. So next we'll go on to our next portion of the page. We'll go ahead and add another statement here about another hobby. And then we can add some photos. So add photos from the server and I'll speed this up so it doesn't take so long. So you can see uh, one of the things if you do make a mistake, like I just forgot the border there, you can go back and double click on the images in this working page and you can edit the size, the border size, uh, the offset left, right or center of the photo. So you can always go back and make adjustments or you can delete it and add it again and start, you know, with that photo from scratch. All right. We'll put a 7-3 line in here and thank them for stopping by or whatever you want to add to this. You can also sign it down at the bottom of the page. And now that we got that finished, don't forget to go up and hit the save button to save all the changes that you have on your page. We'll hit save and then let's go look on another tab here. Hit refresh so we can see the latest updates and you can scroll down through and see everything we added. I uh, see there the text is different. I forgot to change this text to Times New Roman like the above. So we'll go back and fix that here, but everything else is looking pretty good. So let's go back into the biography. We'll bring the page size out so it's easier to work on. And we got Times New Roman up there. So let's change these to match. So we highlight, select the correct font, and the size was 16. We'll scroll down and get the last lines here. Again, Times New Roman, size to 16. All right, now that we fixed that, that should be all good. Let's go up here. Let's go ahead and add a link. Uh, the SKCC group that I belong to has a web page. So I can go ahead and highlight this text that I want to be a link to their web page. And go hit the link button. Now you can see that text is in there. It's set to URL. So I just got to go and find the correct URL for the web page, which is skccgroup.com. I'll put that in the URL block. Hit OK. And now if we click on an open spot on the page, you can see the SKCC groups a link to the page. So we'll hit save. I'll save all the information. We'll go to a, our other tab here where we can see our page in progress. Hit refresh. That'll show us our latest updates. You can see Times New Roman SKC group link. It works. Goes to the page. We'll go back and scroll down the page here. Everything looks to be pretty good. It's showing up all right. All the text matches. So we got that part done. All right, the last thing we're going to do is we're going to go back here and we're going to do one more thing to our profile or our biography page is the background color. So you can click the button there for the background color. It has some preset background colors that you can select from. So you can select and then save. Now, sometimes that doesn't work. Let's hit refresh and see if it took 
Nope, no background color, so it's still white. So there's a trick to getting around that, and I'll show you what you do. Go into CSS style, and this is your background color. So to find a background color you want, go back into your biography, hit the background color, and select more colors. Now as you go over each one of these colors and you find the one you want, each one of these will have a six digit code. So when you find one that you want as your background, then you can click on it and it'll show you these codes off to the right, right here. So write that down, highlight it, copy it, whatever. So I'm going to hit OK. It doesn't take effect on the background of the page through there, but we can go back to the CSS style and right here for this code, you can change that to whatever the six digits were that you wanted. Now hit save and let's go and see. Okay. So if we go into the biography page or working page here, you can see there's no background, but if we go and refresh our tab on QRZ, it actually does show up. So it won't show up while you're working on your biography, but online it will show up. All right, so that's it. Hopefully you can pause this and go through and do it yourself and you can add all kinds of different things, images, tags, uh, pretty much whatever you want in here. You can add video clips, uh, you can make it your own. So hopefully this helps. Like I said, you can pause the video and work along with it as you want to do your page. I hope this helps. I hope everybody can get out there and do what they want to do and catch everybody later. 7-3.